In this video, we will examine how to prove a claim involving set equality. So in this task, we want to prove that A intersect B union C equals A intersect B union A intersect C. This is actually a distributive property of sets. To begin, we'll want to show subset containment in both directions. So let's first show that this set on the left is a subset of the set on the right. So to do that, we'll pick an X from this side. So we'll pick an X that's an element of that set and show, our goal will be to show that X is an element of this side. Okay, so let's begin. Let X be an element of A intersect B union C. So this means that X is an element of A and X is an element of B union C. And the reason for this and is because it's in the intersection, so it's in both A and in B union C. So this means further that if X is in B union C, it's either in B or it's in C. So let's take a look here. If X is an element of A and X is an element of B, then X is an element of A intersect B. On the other hand, If X is an element of A and X is an element of C, recall X is an element in this union over here. So it's either in B or it's in C. So we've already handled the case where it's in B. Now we're looking at what happens if X is in, in C. Okay, so if X is an element of A and X is an element of C, then X is an element of the intersection A intersect C. So what have we shown? We've shown that X is an element of, well, it's in uh, either A intersect B or X is an element of A intersect C. Therefore, X is an element of A intersect B union A intersect C. So this shows that A intersect B union C is a subset of this right hand side. So this is great, we're halfway done, but we now need to show subset containment in the other direction. So our next task will be to show subset containment in this direction. I'm going to erase what we have so far so we can make room. And let's pick up with this idea of going the other direction. You may want to pause the video at this point and try the other direction uh, by yourself and then come back and see if you uh, proceeded correctly. So our strategy now will be to pick an X from this side and show X lives in this left hand side. So we're showing subset containment the other direction. Once we have subset containment going in both directions, that shows set equality. Okay, so let's proceed. We'll pick X, an element of A intersect B, union A intersect C. So this means 
that x is an element of A intersect B, or x is an element of A intersect C. Now, if x is an element of A intersect B, then certainly x is in A and x is in B. Well, if x is in A and x is in B, let's take a look at this piece right here for a moment, x is in B. If x is in B, x is certainly in the union B union C. So, that's right. so x is an element of B union C. Thus, x is an element of A and x is an element of B union C. This implies x is an element of A intersect B union C. Okay, great. So we had these two conditions up here, x is an element of A intersect B, which we already handled, or x is an element of A intersect C. So let's deal with this case now. So uh, if x is an element of A intersect C, this means that x is an element of A and x is an element of C. By our similar logic from before, x is in the union of C with any other set, so it's in the union B union C. Thus, x is an element of A and x is an element of B union C. This implies that x is an element of A intersect B union C. So what have we shown? We've shown that if you pick an x as described in the first line, in other words, if you pick an x from this right-hand side, you either get x in the intersection of A intersect B or A intersect C. In either of those scenarios, we end up saying that x is an element of A intersect B union C. Since x was arbitrary, this shows that A intersect B union A intersect C is contained in A intersect B union C. Notice here that I wrote the set equality going in this direction, but it's, it's still this set is contained in this other set, which is exactly what we have up above uh, here. So we've shown subset containment in both directions, and since we've shown that, we now conclude that we have proved the claim involving subset